Hello, Dr. Mintz. I wanted to go through this uh, interesting case I just had tonight. It illustrates an important principle, I believe. Uh, looking at this, uh, this was a case that was brought to me by the CT tech because they were concerned, I think appropriately, that there was not adequate opacification in the pulmonary arteries. And that's kind of a look through for your benefit. You see some gallstones here. Okay, and these are the adrenal glands here. You can barely make them out, but there they are. In the stomach there. Now let's go up. So, usually you like to have at least 200 Hounsfield units attenuation in the main pulmonary artery. And measuring here, I think it was around 130. This opacification in the aorta, of course, is terrific. So, the question was, do we need to repeat it and, and, or not? and take a look at it and the answer is not whether it's adequately opacified just by looking at this but the answer is the fact that you actually see a PE right here see that and then you can see follow it down you see it on successive cuts in fact you even see a little tiny area right there filling that branch of the left lower lobe pulmonary artery okay and then in case you're not sold by that take a look here on the right and here we are right lower lobe pulmonary artery now here again just for your orientation here's the right main pulmonary artery so we're gonna go down here and you see that little filling defect there okay so this is positive for PE and you might think, well, it's kind of lousy looking, but the fact is it is adequate for the diagnosis. And if we gave more contrast and showed it more clearly, it wouldn't change anything. The fact is the patient has pulmonary embolism, bilateral pulmonary emboli, and that's really enough to proceed with therapy. Let's just see if we can see it here also okay yes look at this see that filling defect again it's a cast it's a cylindrical structure which is a cast of the deep venous system of the leg so this is about the size of many of the deep veins in the leg and then here look over here keep looking around there and you can see this is a filling defect and that's just some of that same kind of clot heaped up there and extending down into this right lower lobe pulmonary artery so interesting demonstration I think of that basic fact that it's 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 important to have a good quality study but if you don't have one and you see PE, 